Hello guys, my name is Maria Toika and today I'm gonna design another music poster and this is another episode of uh, design with me kind of video. I don't know why I did that. It's really design with me. I'm gonna talk you through my process because you seem to really like the previous one and some of you even requested me to do similar kind of video and, or even the series of them and I thought why not? That is something I can definitely do and today I just chose a different band. It's called Cults. It's a indie pop slash indie rock kind of music. I still don't know the exact genre, what they are called, but I've been listening to their latest album offering lately and it's absolutely amazing as well as their previous albums, so I can highly recommend. And um, yeah, today I'm just uh, designing a poster based on their latest album with the name of the album and uh, the name of the band and maybe i will also add some quotes so basically similar thing what i did last time but i will try to explore different styles and to make it a little bit different because it's a different band right i think it makes sense okay so let's just get started and i will show you what exactly i'm doing so we just gonna start with creating a new document as usual just as i did last time i'm using the same settings 45 to 60 centimeters 200 pixels resolution i know this is not the right way to do it it should be 300 but um yeah I think I already made this disclaimer last time and I also wanted to say that I already created a mood board. This one, I just collected some pictures from Pinterest, something that inspires me when I've been listening to their album. I've been trying to understand the meaning behind it, as stupid as it sounds of me, not been able to understand it from the first listen but sometimes it, it takes time for me and to me it seems like it's very abstract and you can interpret it in many ways because they don't really name the exact events that are happening or at least that sometimes they they say it but without any specifics but the general vibe of it i felt like a person who is kind of lost and they are searching the meaning the answers or something and i just thought it would be nice to add some like to create this kind of dreamy and the vibe of uncertainty and these blurry and glowy effects would really convey that quite well i don't know that's just my perception so yeah that's the images that i found on pinterest and that's what i'm gonna base my image side of the poster on and maybe i will come up with something else for the type i don't know so let's just get started and one of the songs is called with my eyes closed i found an image of a girl with closed eyes and i just thought it would it would fit into the style of this album obviously i'm gonna modify it a lot so don't worry i don't just take the name of the song literally and just the only thing i'm gonna do is just to use the image of a girl with closed eyes it's not as simple although simplicity is not a bad thing i guess i could do even that but also apart from that i'd like to add an image this one yeah both of these pictures i found on unsplash i think this represents the meaning like the person who is lost and is looking for answers or a solution for something and i thought it would be nice to combine these two and the background i'm gonna do black just as last time because it's the most mysterious background you can imagine in my opinion yeah and let's probably add the name of the band cults this is actually a really really nice font spirits neutral it's so classy but at the same time it's not too thin just like perfectly aligns with my taste offering this is the name of the album yeah, and maybe i will add some quotes it depends on the composition i'll come up with so we'll see okay so as for this girl i would like to remove the background and i do it with a very simple tool select subject photoshop has made it really really easy 
thanks to Photoshop. You see, it's just magic. Convert to smart object. Obviously, I'm not a risk taker to keep everything rasterized. Obviously, I want to be able to change something after that. And then I just desaturate it. Okay. And this one, what I'm doing with this one, I'm not sure actually. Well, I will definitely des desaturate it as well. I think I would need to choose any sort of interesting layer mode to combine them together. But also we will need to process both of them through multiple filters. But right now, I don't know. Let's just leave it like that and decrease the opacity. I would probably start manipulating the image with the image of a girl. Yeah, so I would even turn it off right now this window thing so what i'm gonna do with the girl let me think i think i would make her a little bit lighter the light parts or actually i would probably play with curves a little bit i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna do but i really want to do some sort of glowy effect on her i think that's that is what i would prefer And at the same time, I would add some contrast. Okay, let's just keep it like that for now. So the next thing what I'm going to do is to apply some filters. That's what I always like to do. Yeah, halftone pattern to create this VHS kind of effect. Okay, then on top of that, what I'm going to add, I really want to add some glowing, glowy effect. So I'm just going to duplicate the layer. And here I would apply Diffuse Glow. It's one of my absolute favorite filters. It just highlights things, like highlights, highlights, <laughs> if I can say that. Basically what it does, it makes the object look like it's holy, like from, from the heaven. It looks very, very dreamy, which aligns with our style, I guess, what we're doing today. And I'm thinking which layer mode to do to apply so what i'm gonna do next i think i haven't finished with this first layer and i'm gonna try to change the order of this effect and i would like curves on top yeah to make something like this and to me this looks already interesting but i will see what what else i can do because you see guys it's Really, really, really trippy <laughs> effect. Yeah, I don't even know what kind of style I'm going for right now. I just kind of like the fact that it looks like water. I don't know, like it reflects the light. And obviously it's not going to stay that dark because I'm going to apply this layer on top of it. And obviously we need to change the layer mode to blend them together really well. And which one I like? Let's see. Also, another thing to do to make really cool glowy effects is to apply Gaussian blur. And not only Gaussian, actually many types of blur, but in this particular case, I think Gaussian would be okay. Something like 27, which is a really nice number. One of my favorite numbers, just so you know. Yes, I think this is what I was looking for. Kind of like this. So it's very, very soft, glowy, misty and mysterious. And it looks like water ripples, something like that. Yeah, but I will also try out other layer modes. Maybe something else would stand out to me. Hmm. This is really nice, but maybe a little bit too bright, too contrasty. Yeah, maybe... We need to make this halftone effect more prominent and make it also contrasty. Yeah, I really like the texture. And also, I think I would even increase the scale of halftone pattern, like even nine. Because from afar, it wouldn't be noticeable and I want it to be noticeable. Something like that. Okay, this is already looks quite interesting to me. And about this layer, what I will do to it. First of all, I need to set the opacity to maximum and I would like to try a different type of blur which is surface blur okay 
Mm -hmm. So you see what it does. Like it makes uh, all the light parts blurry and all the dark elements still clear and very, very <laughs> pretty much recognizable what that is. Unless you change the threshold and it becomes a little bit trippy. I think something like that would do just right. And I also noticed that surface blur sometimes takes a, bit, a little bit longer to render, but not too much longer. Okay, and I need to combine them somehow. Also, I think I'm not done with this window. I would also apply some of the filters, maybe also halftone pattern and green. I think it already looks amazing, especially if you decrease intensity. Well, maybe not to the absolute minimum, but like somewhere in, in between, I would say. Okay, already looks looks nice i guess just don't know how to combine it in a proper way i really like this area where they overlap it's it creates this glow effect like really natural one if we can call it natural <laughs> probably not linear dodge is actually not bad in this case maybe something else let me try Lighter color. I guess I will go with this one. I need to maybe try not to do it right in the middle of the poster. The only thing I don't like her, I like this area really dark and it looks kind of like a bed. I don't think it looks nice on her, to be honest. I just don't know which layer has it. Like, where should I correct this? Okay, I just added a little bit of white here just by using soft brush. That's how simple that is. Maybe another thing I can do similar thing to this is just adding some kind of like light again with soft brush but I would probably choose a different layer mode. I don't know. I will just experiment. Hmm. I think color dodge looks kind of interesting in that sense. Okay I think now it's time to do something with typography. Maybe I would make everything a little bit smaller. And I'm not sure I'm a fan of keeping the words just in the middle. Just like it's a merge design, like what is supposed to be printed on a t-shirt. I would try to find some other places where I could put them. And my favorite part is looking for a font. And uh, that's gonna take another 1000 years, I'm just warning you. So yeah, I'm probably gonna speed up this process. I will just say that I want something simple. I'm not sure yet whether serif or sans serif, but definitely not something too thin, not a script font. Yeah, maybe something like this, something geometric. It reminds me of Swiss style. There are lots of very interesting fonts, like, like this one, Mrs. Shepherd's. But in this case, nothing like that would work, in my opinion. I think it should be something simple and geometric. I think this Swiss style would work really well with this. Maybe something like this. And cults also I need to choose. Like not something like this. It would just make it look much cheaper when the font is draws too much attention to itself. Like something simple like Futura. Futura, right? Not Futura. I think it looks really nice, but they are similar but different and they need to be either very different or the same. I quite like this one, to be honest. 
Wow, it looks really, really interesting. Maybe I would keep it like that. It's a little bit decorative, yeah, but okay, I will try. I will try. I will give it a go. And I would keep offering geometric. And also, maybe I would make the whole image a little bit smaller. Okay. Yeah, I think this font works really well. And for the cults, I'm not entirely sure, but I will try to do something with this one. So what I'm gonna do with this one, I will probably gonna blur it. So I'm just creating another layer underneath it. Uh, fill it with black, then I merge them, then I put the layer mode to screen, then convert it to smart object. And now it's the most interesting thing. I will do blur gallery, build blur. And I will just add a few dots so all this blur thing won't be the same everywhere. That is the main point of using this tool, if you know what I mean. Okay, already looks interesting, I would say. And now, of course, we go into filter gallery and we're gonna explore all these opportunities we have here diffuse glow i think this can work really well pretty much ruined our blur effect i'm not sure i'm a fan of this So um, I guess grain doesn't ruin it that much. We can go with grain. Another thing I just remembered that I would try is color half tone. But in order to do that, we need to go to grayscale mode. Don't flatten, don't rasterize, discard. And now we will do pixelate color half tone. Let's just try. No, that's a little bit too too small number. I would put it like 18 maybe. Uh, this is too big number. And it's something in between, which is 12 maybe. Yeah, I think we can go with that. And then... Oh... This is really interesting. Yeah, like actually not bad. But this is not what I'm looking for. <gasps> wow, this is almost like pixelated effect. But again, this is not quite what I was looking for in the beginning. Not quite what I was looking for. Maybe grain. Grain doesn't do anything. Anything at all. Maybe spatter. Uh, yes, but just don't ruin the, the texture. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, spatter. I think this can work. I don't know how to describe it, like very worn out edges. I think it looks interesting, yeah. I would say okay. And then I would also like some glowy effects. A Gaussian blur will help me with that. The more the better, I guess. Something like this. And maybe also we would apply some motion blur. Maybe it doesn't work with Gaussian, I don't know. Maybe that's what we need to do. Is that what you want me to do, Photoshop? Stretch the font? Okay, I can try. No, no, that looks horrible. Okay. <gasps> this doesn't look horrible, actually. Wow. Well, not, not wow. <laughs> that was a bit too much. But something like this it looks a lot more interesting than it was in the beginning. Okay, okay. Then I'm gonna duplicate the layer and this time I'm gonna make it even, how to say, I'm gonna increase the blur basically. Make it something like that. Yeah, I think it looks quite dreamy. Okay, then offering. What are we gonna do with offering? I guess we're gonna do similar thing. Okay, with offering, we're gonna do similar things, but not to that extreme, if that makes sense. I don't even bother converting it to smart object because I don't really want to back to it later, change anything. So yeah, that is enough. Just like Gaussian blur and then a couple of filters on top of it. Maybe without Sparta. already looks nice and screen color mode or oh, layer mode i mean okay and also on top of all of that i would like to apply gradient map <gasps> i forgot 
to convert it back to RGB mode. Okay, I applied RGB mode. So gradient map. Yeah, I would like to add this greenish sort of color to make it more like Y2K sort of style. Okay, I think this one a little bit too much makes it look cheap. I don't know, maybe it just seems like it only to me. Okay, let's just leave it like that. I'll probably add a texture on top of it. Okay, so now it's kind of done. Kind of. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, in the lightest color, let's just say it's, it will be something rather warm, like yellowish. But it doesn't look white UK now. Mm. Mm. I don't know. It looks more vintage now. I don't know, actually. But I like it. Okay, uh, the next thing. Let's just do... What do we do? Just Let's just put a texture on top. Yeah, something like this. Kind of like photocopy effect, or I don't know what is it, what's it called. I'm going to rasterize it just to save some space. And exclusion always works better than anything else, at least in my case. Okay, I think I'm done. Maybe I will do something else to it. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so what else I did and I didn't record it. I just added a couple of quotes, uh, some phrases from the songs of this album. And the only thing I did to it, I just applied a little bit of Gaussian blur. So it looks not that clear and crispy. And also I added these lights just to emphasize this mysterious sort of look. I just found it, these shapes on Freepik and they go in vector format in Illustrator and then I just dragged them from Illustrator to Photoshop and applied screen mode because normally it would look like this. But with screen mode, you can, you can get away with this. And this is pretty much it. Yeah, this is the final result. I don't know. Let me know what you think, if you like it or not. Hope you do. I'm pretty happy with this result considering I didn't spend that much time on it. So yeah, let me know if you have any ideas what you want me to design next time and see you in my next video. Bye guys.